What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today we're back with a brand new WWE Ultimate Edition review on the brand new WWE Ultimate Edition Series 20 Roman Reigns figure. Now this is our second rendition of Roman Reigns. We did see him not too too long ago. I want to say it was a couple years ago we did get Roman Reigns. However, that figure had a lot of issues that I could not stand. Gaps in the tattoo, over Jack torso, didn't stand the best. And we fast forward now to a more accurate, a better representation of Roman Reigns here in our collections, man. This is a figure that I've been waiting on for a very long time, so I'm actually very excited to dive into the figure with you. And it should be fun, man, so let's buckle the hell up, dive into the Roman Reigns Ultimate Edition, see what he's all about, and find out where he comes through. Now, I do believe this figure is on back order right now, but you can use code MDTOYS over at Ringside Collectibles to save yourselves 10%, of course. Save some money when shopping over there. But a huge shout-out to those guys. But here's our front viewing window with Roman, man. He's looking pretty damn good. You got Roman Reigns across the top. You get the championships. I remember in the promo photos, the titles were, like, flipped or messed up, but you have Ultimate Edition. It's pretty much your standard Ultimate edition packaging. You got the handsome fella there. On the back you have this like prototype headshot and then you have a shot of Roman Reigns there looking all good. Little bio read if you want to read it you can pause it now. You got Roman Reigns side there and then that's pretty much our packaging man. It's just your basic mainline Roman Reigns Ultimate Edition packaging. However man I think that pretty much wraps up our packaging so with that being said let's shut the hell up, crack Roman Reigns out of the packaging and find out what the Tribal Chief is all about and if this update is indeed worth it. So here's our Tribal Chief out of the packaging, man. I took him out of the packaging. I got to mess around with him a little bit, get to pose him around here, man. And I'm actually, I, I, I feel like my expectations have been met. We're going to explore some different things with the figure and see where it lands. Of course, I do have my gripes about the figure, which we're going to, of course, get into. But I think this figure is going to deliver on all the things I was hoping for and expecting for out of this figure. So I'm really excited for that, man. I, I mean, I got to say, like, Roman Reigns, ever since I want to say, I mean, like, I've always liked him as a character and, uh, you know, like, just the look of the guy he's just he just looks like a monster out there he's a beast uh, he just I've seen him front row he is an absolute monster of an athlete ever since he returned was it when he returned and beat up Bray Wyatt or when he took out Braun Strowman and Bray Wyatt in that triple threat ever since then man I have been enthralled with everything this man has done on WWE television and I became a massive fan of the guy I guess it's because he kind of encaptured the the character that I kind of created on MDT way before WWE did it and it's just like I don't know it's like he just became what I always wanted him to become. And anyway, let's shut the hell up and dive into the accessories of the Ultimate Edition, and then we'll dive into the figure itself. All right, man, so getting into the accessories you get with this new Roman Reigns Ultimate Edition figure, I'm going to be real with you, man. Not a lot of meat on the bone in terms of newness here. Like, take, for instance, all of our head sculpts. This is a repeat head sculpt. We saw this on the Elite 103 Roman Reigns, and we saw this on the Amazon-exclusive Tribal Chief vs. Beast Incarnate 3-pack Roman Reigns. And it's a good head sculpt. It's a solid head sculpt, and I like this head sculpt. It's got the little smirk on there. I just wish that he had the tapered beard. You see how it's all the one length, man? I want this hair right here to be faded. And I'm pretty sure he has like a skin fade most of the time. And then it goes down into a skin fade. And then he gets into a thicker tapered beard. That's what I want to see on three head sculpts. I want to see that on a hair down like this, like pissed off. I want to see it on a man bun pissed off. And I want to see it in a yelling head sculpt. I, I want to see that done, man. But next up, we have the smiling Roman, which I think think, I really, I don't know what they were thinking here, because you guys can even see that the facial hair isn't even accurate. This man hasn't had this facial hair since like 2018. Elite 79. This is when we first saw this Roman Reigns ponytail man bun, and it's just not good, man. I mean, don't get me wrong, it looks just like the guy. It looks just like Roman Reigns, man, but I don't think he's smiled since he's returned to TV, unless he's like smiling because he's dunking on somebody, you know what I mean? So, this is outrageous, but it is a good head sculpt. It's just super old, and that, I mean, and it's not accurate, so it's just, you know, it's just a weird, it's one of the weirdest things going on, but maybe it's just a placeholder because they couldn't get something out in time or something like that, but yeah, another repeat head sculpt, so we're two for two on repeat head sculpts, and we're going three for three, because here we have the ooh or the spear head sculpt, or the just pissed off head sculpt, man, because this is the same one we saw in his first Ultimate Edition, that was so long ago, man, so yeah, it's a good likeness, I like the screaming expression, you know, he's like looking up, and he's like, ooh -ah. you know, he's looking up, and he's saying ooh and he's gonna kill you, so I, I, you know, I like it. I like this head sculpt a lot. It's just, it's old as dirt, just like every other head sculpt here. Well, I guess the Elite 103 version's not that old, but you get the point. Outside of that, we do get a WWE Championship with the Roman Reigns side plates, and we get a Blue Universal Championship with the Roman Reigns side plates, which, of course, they did merge these two together, and now we have the Undisputed Champion, and it is completely different than this, and I do have a custom of that championship, which we will throw on the figure just to showcase that and everything. I'm gonna do some head swaps and some cool stuff with the figure 
figure, of course. But yeah, man, you know, we've seen it before, but it is cool that you get both championships. So, you know, if you needed these, you wanted the Roman Reigns side plates, there they are. And you can add this to your display. But yeah, Roman Reigns championships. And then we do have his Ulafala, I think is what it's called. And it is the shell necklace here in the red color. And it looks pretty good. I like it, you know. Seen this multiple times. I think we even saw this with the Elite 106 Jimmy or Jay Uso figures. Got my thumb itches. But yeah, this is cool. You know, you gotta put it on the Tribal Chief. I like it. You know, it's a cool accessory. I wish we got some damn cloth goods in this thing. But outside of that, you do get interchangeable hands. On the left side, we do have the non-gauntlet hand in the Roman Reigns skin tone. And then we do have the right gauntlet hand that is sculpted on in the red colorway for his red gauntlet. Then we get mic holding hands. Same thing. Left side is a blank mic holding hand. And on the right side, it is a sculpted gauntlet. Red gauntlet and with the red pegs. So that's nice to see. But we've, we have seen this before. And just like the Elite 103, we have the sculpted with the ones hand or the pointer finger with the sculpted gauntlet on there. So that's pretty cool. So you get both sides there. So that's pretty cool. I like this. I like these hands. So diving into the Roman Reigns at the top of the head sculpt. Again, the Elite 103, the Tribal Chief, Amazon exclusive head sculpt. I like this head sculpt. Doesn't look too bad to me, man. The real newness here. I mean, really, for the torso, I want to say the crotch torso. Maybe not the crotch piece, but the legs, the boots, and the torso are new for Roman Reigns. Now, this is a, a Hulk Hogan torso. So they did use the Hulk Hogan torso for Roman Reigns here, but it's so accurate. This is exactly what his body looks like. I think they did a really good job here. You know, he's built. He's not overly cut. I think the arms look really good. I love the way the tattoo looks. I will say, on my butterfly joints, I don't think that that gap is supposed to be there, which kind of bothers me, but I am going to let it pass for now. I'd like to see other people's, but it's supposed to look like, look how much tattoo coverage is right here on the arm. That's what it's supposed to look like, I'm pretty sure, but that, you know, that gap's in there. You do have the gauntlets in there. Same arms on there. He's got all of his back tattoos, which look really, really clean and good, which is dandy. You do have his black joggers or shield legs or jogger sweat style cargo pants on there, which look good. Same red gauntlet we've seen on the last Ultimate Edition, I think, or the color may be slightly very, you know, different color, but very, very similar. But I do believe these thighs are new. These look to be new legs right here. Like the lower legs, I think, are new. I could be wrong about that. I'm going to do a comparison shot. And I guess they are new because they're pinless, so they have to be new because I don't think we've seen shield legs that are pin pinless like this but going down into the boots we do have his brand new boots here that do have the toe articulation but it's got some nice sculpts going on and it does have the superman jump logo and then the roman rings logo on the inside there but these are really really nice man you would think that like the feet are kind of small or not i guess they're not small they look really good on here it's kind of wild but damn i like these pretty clean now before we get into some comparison shots i do want to break down some of the articulation he's got a very tight waist and tight ab crunch which I like and then he can stretch very far back on his butterfly joint so I think you're going to be able to get any pose you really want out of a Roman Reigns man like he can pretty much like cross his arms which is awesome. I don't think you're going to have any issues with this again this is the same articulation as an Ultimate Edition Hulk Hogan but he does have the drop down hips he can kick forward really really good right there if you guys want to see the kick forward. Can't go back because of the butt cheek but you can drop that and get a little bit of a you know like a, a wind back right there but these pin Pinless joints are not like typical pinless joints. They're actually kind of buttery smooth like Paul, not Paul Heyman, I almost said Paul Heyman, Paul Bearer from Elite 106, which makes me happy. It's not overly tight, which is nice. He does have a little bit of ankle pivot in there. It's got the toe articulation as well. And the boots do go down and up, so he, he can articulate pretty damn well, man. I, I mean, this, this is a fun figure. I'm having a ton of fun posing this guy around. I think you guys will also do so as well, but yeah, I'm not a big fan of the drop down hips, to be honest with you. But nonetheless, I do want to get into some figure comparisons and take a look at, you know, some different Roman Reigns figures, compare it to some other guys that maybe he'll be in the ring with, and then uh, do some swappages and just kind of look at everything. So we're going to break it all the hell down. So for your Roman Reigns figure comparisons, up first, we do have a few different Roman Reigns. We have my fix-up promo style Roman Reigns here. We have the Tribal Chief Amazon exclusive Elite three pack Roman right here. Or that may be the Elite 103. I can't effing remember. You have the new Ultimate Edition. You have the most recent top picks that I think it's at like current Walmarts and stuff. And then we have the first Ultimate Edition over here with the gold gauntlet. I'm pretty sure his last Ultimate also had a red gauntlet, if I'm not mistaken. But I mean, dude, this isn't even close, brother. Look at this difference right here. Just overly jacked as hell. Now, I will say this one has a smaller gap in the tattoo right there on the butterfly joint. Yeah, dude, this, <laughs> this not even close. I love this one compared to this one. Now, as far as, like, the heights are concerned, yeah, dude, like, look at that right there. This one's shorter than that one, and then if you pull up, like, the top picks, Roman, shorter than that one. This one, same thing, shorter than that one. 
And then we have my promo Roman right here. Is it shorter than that one? Uh, yeah, this one's a little bit shorter, I guess. But yeah, he's not as tall as I would like, to be honest with you. I feel like he could be taller, but it's not horrific, I guess. You know, I think I think he's supposed to be 6'3", so I guess, I don't know, give, give that what you will. But I don't know, it's cool to see these up next to each other. I definitely just adore this compared to this. And legs, I mean, they are new. They're virtually the same, but they are a little bit different. The lower leg is slightly different right there. It kind of bunches up. And then this is pinless, like I said, so it is a new sculpt. I don't know, but let's get into some more comparisons. Next up, we have my MDT Live fixed up custom Roman Reigns that I've been using on the Fed for years now. And it is crazy, you know, it's like it's like I predicted the future or something like that. Or maybe they were watching the pick Fed and they just decided to book it themselves with the bloodline and the dominant heel run of Roman Reigns. But I don't know, man. I'm definitely going to have to make a decision on like what kind of Roman Reigns I want to use because I like the butterfly joints. You get more articulation, but I don't like how short he is. But at the same time, man, this, this shit is like too good to pass up i freaking love this roman reigns figure right now but you know this attire i kind of made up in my head but it is still cool to see these up next to each other and i do want to do a head swap because i think this is going to look immaculate over here now if you guys weren't aware this is what i've been begging mattel for this exact style head sculpt with like the fade and the beard i mean dude look at that right there that's what we want we want the fade with a thicker beard it's all tapered on there it looks freaking immaculate it looks so good man that that is exactly what we want out of roman reigns so hopefully we can make those things happen and that'll be something that we get in 2024 hopefully but it is definitely badass to see you know the the head swap on there but yeah let's get you know i'm not done with the comparison and then for your bloodline figure comparison here is the full bloodline here without Sami Zayn. but we have the ultimate edition usos the elite 104 solo we do have the elite 107 solo coming to a review on the channel soon and we'll definitely compare the elite 107 solo to all of these figures in that review and then, of course, we do have Paul Heyman to join them there. But these all look good. You know, Roman is still the tallest of the group, so I guess he is accurate in height. But I don't know. I was definitely worried about that height. But he looks good up next to these. I, you know, I don't. he doesn't look like, you know, Rey Mysterio or something up next to the rest of the bloodline. So that is definitely a positive sign. And then here we have the new Ultimate Edition Roman Reigns up next to the Elite 106 Sami Zayn. And again, the Roman Reigns is slightly taller, so that is accurate. So that's good to see. I was, dude, I don't know. It just, I guess I'm just used to him being so damn big that it throws me off. But yeah, that is your Roman Reigns figure comparisons. Oh wait, I want to do something. If we take the custom championship, just so you guys can see here. Look how damn dirty that looks, man. Yeah, so there you go. You got, dude, that is, that is just nasty. That is so authentic right there. It's exactly what you want. But I think that pretty much wraps up our WWE Ultimate Edition Series 20 Roman Reigns figure review, man. Of course, I do have the custom championships on there. I do have my custom head sculpt on there. That's probably how I'm going to put him on there, just because it's the updated beard and everything that I've been wanting. Now, my biggest gripes with this figure, coming down to the head sculpts, I do feel like he may be a little bit short, you know? I don't know. Like, he may just... I don't know. It just it, His figures don't feel as big in the hand, but... Love the new boot sculpt. Love the the red boots when he when he first came out with those. I thought they were super fire. So to see him in figure form is great. I'm still not a huge fan of the drop down hips. I feel like they just get loose way too fast. But I have really enjoyed this Roman Reigns man posing him around, getting that realistic. This is just like the perfect representation of Roman Reigns man. It's like they shrunk down the character, and you guys know I love that. Of course, that old Elite 79 ponytail smiling head sculpt is absurdity. Can't even believe that we got that. I do believe that an updated Roman Reigns head sculpt is coming in 24, and it's probably going to debut in the Elite line, so we'll have to see about that. Maybe it'll be a promo gear. You know, I've been begging for a man bun, tapered beard, nice shaved haircut, just beautiful looking Roman Reigns head sculpt. Been waiting on that forever. Not only like, you know, mid-match, like hair down head sculpt, but I want to see the man bun as well, so hopefully we'll see that this year, but... I love this Roman Reigns figure. I really do. I've had a ton of fun posing around. It's like I can't stop picking the figure up and posing him around. So hopefully you guys will feel the same way. You definitely need this one. If you if you sell every Roman and pick up this one, do it, man. This is a beast. I love this figure. I think it's great. If you guys want to grab it, go over to Ringside Collectibles. Use code MD Toys to save yourselves ten percent. But I like it. There's like they finally scaled him down, made it more realistic. I like. I'm not a huge fan of the head sculpts, right? I mean, the Amazon 3-pack one isn't bad. It'll, you know, it'll do the yelling expression we saw on his first Ultimate. That Elite 79 head sculpt isn't the best, but you do get two championships. Even though they're outdated, I understand it. Buy it for the figure itself, man. That Ultimate Edition, ultra-realistic, 
Roman Reigns figure is what you want to see. So that's what I would say, man. But I really enjoy the Roman. I think you guys will enjoy it as well. But before we get out of here, huge shout out to the Patreon members of the MDT YouTube channel. Always appreciate those fellows over there. As far as the room tour, man, I'm hoping to get the room tour up before Saturday's over. I've been trying my best, man. I have worked endlessly, tirelessly. My entire family have been up in there working on it and trying to get this thing in the best shape possible for you guys and to show it off. So hopefully... The weight will be worth it, man, but I do understand the weight sucks, but Jesus, man, I have I have been up all night, multiple nights in a row, trying to get it ready for you guys, so hopefully it will live up to the expectations, but nonetheless, man, I'm getting out of here. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at My Damn Toys. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later. <laughs>